Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Mr. Josh for Mr. Josh Reviews. And today I've got some news for you in regards to the Flash, the Flash movie, and some interesting updates. Um, th we're going to talk about uh, the Snyderverse. We're going to talk about Superman, Batman, Batgirl, Supergirl, the new Justice League. Um, apparently this is coming from the source of Grace Randolph, a, a number of other sources, but... She's the big one. Uh, Grace Randolph, she's from Beyond the Trailer. She has her YouTube channel. She's interviewed, you know, Zack Snyder, people from The Boys, and lots of, of Invincible, Robert Kirkman, things like that. She's very credible uh, when it comes to her sources. But again, these are still rumors that I'm going to tell you. And um, until we actually see the movie, they can't be fact, right? Um, so one big thing is that at the end of the Flash movie, the Snyderverse will be erased. Um, yeah. I mean, I think we kind of all were figuring that. This is supposed to be based based on Flashpoint. And Flashpoint is responsible for the New 52. So we did see... we uh, At least myself, I was expecting the uh, DCEU to go into a different direction but not to completely erase characters. And so this is coming from Grace Randolph. I'm gonna read her tweet, I'll show it as well. Uh, she basically says, as I've told you uh, with updates, The Flash, this is gonna be the Ben Affleck's, Batflex's final appearance. There'll be old footage of Cavill used on TV. So that's, a, I think, gonna be our only footage of Superman in this movie. There will be a new Justice League formed. Now, what I'm hearing is that at the end of the movie, well, hold on. Uh, she also goes on to say that Supergirl is the new Superman. So that means she will have come first, I'm assuming, in this new universe. Keaton will be working with Black Canary and picks Batgirl as the new Batman. So same thing, that she will come or I don't know if that means Batman is going to be completely erased or they're pushing it that Batman is even older now because obviously Keaton is in it. But I always assumed that they would have Keaton as an other universe Batman. And she says, this is new DC. Let's be open minded and give it a fair shot. Um, I don't know what to tell you about this. I'm not a fan. Uh, I'm not a fan, and look, when it comes to the Trinity, the DC Trinity, you have Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. There are no ifs, ands, or buts. Uh, that is the, <laughs> like, that is the holy trinity of comics. Not even just DC comics. Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman are the de facto heroes of the DC universe. Uh, you know, in a lot of iterations, Superman comes first, you know, at least for his era, because they have, you know, the Justice Society, which was way before that. But for his era, Superman comes along, Batman shortly thereafter, and then everybody else. Sometimes Batman is kind of rumored. They don't see him. But you got to have Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. They are the core founders of the Justice League. They each represent something different. Anyway, Grace Randolph also says the Keaton, Black Canary, Batgirl stuff obviously happens in her movie, to clarify. We knew that Keaton, it's been said that he's going to be in her movie, along with J.K. Simmons, not Jeffrey Wright, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and she says, it's obviously no fun to cover all these upcoming DC movies from a hateful perspective. It's just too draining. So yeah, to give you my perspective, I'm going to try my best to soldier on. See, I, I know she gets it. She's a Batman fan. I'm a Superman fan. Uh, she, she, know, she gets it. She gets it. Uh, but she doesn't get Superman, per se. She, I believe she likes Henry, Henry Cavill, though. Um, because, you know, some people like their heroes dark. Superman was never meant to be dark. He can have dark elements. There can be dark things that happen, but the character itself, even from the beginning, 
like even though he's uh you know uh, you know he feels alone he's going through a lot of stuff it doesn't mean that he has to be dark per se you know it's like how a comedy can have dramatic elements or something like that like superman is i'm not saying he's a comedy but he is that inspiration of hope and you can give him some darkness to work with in the world but he himself brings the light to the world see the problem is it, it, again it's not even like an overcorrection. it's like an over i don't know uh, the opposite of correction because superman i mean the snyder verse in my opinion snyder didn't really get superman he has gone on record in interviews saying he doesn't understand characters like superman they should have given him a batman movie period just batman you know and he would have done amazing even though still i don't think he should have taken inspiration from the dark knight returns because that batman is like way too dark you needed to take inspiration from batman as he is now um anywho so finally someone goes on to ask grace uh she they say um so there's going to be, you know, no actual super, an actual Superman moving forward. She says, maybe eventually, but for the immediate future, it's Supergirl. And someone also asks if the Trinity will be all women. And she says, yes. You know, and it's weird. You have people just saying, uh, if you don't like this, then you're a misogynist. I mean, that's really not true. It's That's not what this is at all. It's the fact that DC doesn't really know how to use their characters. Uh, they they have not... They, they went too dark with Superman after the Christopher Nolan movies. You know, the Christopher Nolan Batman movies can be... It can be said it's the greatest trilogy of comics ever, you know? Um, but they tried to make Superman dark. And that in itself set the DC EU, DCEU in a different path than it should have gone down. You know what I mean? Um, and, like, again, there's nothing wrong with someone's vision at all. It's just the problem is they had this vision that a bunch of fans didn't like. So now Warner Brothers is completely changing the... Completely changing it. They're like, let's get rid of these characters. But you cannot have DC Comics. You cannot have the DC Universe without Superman and Batman, is what I'm trying to say. You really can't. And you can't have them as leaders. Like, you know, you can toss a coin. Generally, it's Superman. He's leading the charge for the Justice League. He's talking to people. But really, it's the three of them as well. You know, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. They each lead in a different way, different aspects of the League. And that's what you need. And apparently, at the end of the Flash movie, you're going to have the Flash, Shazam, and Supergirl forming a new League. So... I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, I'm not a fan of this. I'm going to watch it, of course, because it's DC. Like, I watch everything DC. Um, you know, I watched Birds of Prey. This year, watched The Suicide Squad. The Snyder Cut, I think, is overrated. I thought it was great. But again, it was a four-hour movie. You cannot have that in a movie theater. Um, but a lot of great stuff in it, for sure. But uh, I, again, I think a lot of it was handled poorly. Going up to the Zack Snyder Justice League, you know, especially when it comes to Man of Steel, which I, I enjoy that movie, Man of Steel. I don't, I'm not a huge fan. Actually, I'm not a fan of Batman versus Superman. I have not seen the Ultimate Edition, but I saw the regular edition in the theaters and it was not good. Um, the original Justice League, the Whedon cut, not good, but I like Superman in it because I felt like he was finally Superman in that movie. Um, the, the Snyder Cut, it is a way better cohesive film, but again, it's a four hour movie, guys. Like you cannot, you just can't do it. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Uh, so yeah, no Superman, no Batman, Supergirl, Batgirl, Wonder Woman, or the New Trinity, uh, Shazam, The Flash, and Supergirl are going to form a new Justice League. I love the movie Shazam, by the way. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. Let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, I'm Mr. Josh. This has been Mr. Josh Reviews. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, thank you again for watching.